At least 16 people were killed when a strike hit a residential building in Rafah on Monday as Israel continues its military campaign by air on Gaza's southernmost city. Israel wants to go further with the planned ground offensive, but U.S. officials are imploring them not to. The safety of the 1.5 million Palestinian civilians in Rafah is also a top priority for the United States. Now, we continue to share the goal of seeing Hamas defeated. So we'll discuss alternative approaches to target Hamas elements. In his meeting with Israeli Defense Minister Yoav Gallant, U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin also urged Israel to allow more humanitarian assistance in amid a looming famine in Gaza. The U.S. message on aid and Rafah was conveyed to Gallant by other administration officials, including Secretary of State Antony Blinken and White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan. It's unclear whether Israel will heed the warning. Gallant said he wants the U.S. to ramp up weapons transfer to Israel. We will also discuss strategic issues and uh, the important uh, cooperation with, uh, between our establishment, which will ensure Israel's military edge and uh, capabilities. The U.S. provides Israel with $4 billion a year in aid, including $3.3 billion that Israel must use to purchase U.S. weapons. The, the best case scenario would be that if the U.S. actually did use its abundant leverage, um, both unilaterally and multilaterally, um, to try to bring about a ceasefire. On Monday, the U.S. used its diplomatic leverage with an abstention at the U.N. that allowed the Security Council to adopt a resolution demanding an immediate ceasefire and the release of hostages held by Hamas. But so far, President Joe Biden has not indicated a willingness to condition military aid, despite protests calling him to end his support for Israel. Pat Sevida Kuswara, VOA News, Washington.